When it comes to storm chasing days that leave a lasting impression, there's hardly any comparison to the incredible 18th of August 2017. This day managed to produce numerous severe storms in the eastern half of Germany, some of which we luckily managed to intercept during their rampage through Bavaria. The 18th of August was marked by the passage of a cold front with a strong convergence ahead that was supposed to form during the daytime, all in a highly sheared environment. This, paired with lots of available energy, is a perfect recipe for the formation of supercells in all kinds of severe weather, and consecutively a level 2 for very large hail and severe wind gusts was issued for the region by the forecasters of the European Storm Forecast Experiment, or in short, Estofex. With ingredients like this coming together relatively close to home, it goes without saying that we were Bavaria bound in the afternoon, and it wasn't long until the first isolated storm ahead of the front began to organize into a supercell. The separation of updraft and downdraft as seen in this first view of our new storm are always a good indicator for an organized storm, as warm inflow winds are not cut off by the cold air falling down from the top of the cloud. Still, we suspected that some time was still needed for the storm to fully organize, so we positioned a few kilometers further east, just southwest of Nuremberg, and waited for the show to commence we wouldn't wait long. Our storm, a full-grown, massive classic supercell, was slowly closing in, dropping waves of microbursts that buried the landscape further west in big hail. In the time-lapse you can see how the cold outflow wind gets sucked up right back into the updraft. This process is what causes the wall cloud to form. It was time for our escape, and as we barely made it back to the highway, we got one last glimpse of how the landscape a mere couple hundred meters behind us was already lost to the whiteout in the raging storm's core. Time to head east again, reposition, and stay ahead of this beast. At our new position, now east of Nuremberg, we were presented with the same supercell that had completely restructured. Now the rear flank downdraft had created a visible clear slot next to the twisting wall cloud as the storm wrapped around itself for a new cycle. It hadn't lost any strength and wasn't going to any time soon. Once more we got to enjoy the dramatic arrival of a very photogenic storm. Due to the terrain east of us being unfavorable for chasing further, we had no choice as to let our old storm go and intercept the dying supercell behind it, visible here on radar. Our choice to stay in the next storm eventually paid off as we witnessed the shelf cloud rolling towards us with fog from the blanket of hail still hovering above the ground. Even a dead storm can make up for an amazing view.
An hour later, and roughly 100 kilometers further southeast, the next storm waited for us, as a massive line had already formed, containing a supercell at its southern edge that we obviously tried to go for. We finally came to a halt in the fields south of Regensburg after quite some struggle to stay ahead of the massive shelf cloud chasing us along the highway. But the southeastern supercell had other ideas than surviving anyway and became a beast of outflow winds itself, accompanied by a beautiful shelf cloud before battering us with winds exceeding 100 kilometers an hour. As nightfall approached and our outflow bomb was slowly calming down, our attention finally turned towards the cold front and the bowing squall line that had just begun to form over Munich. So once more it was time to head southeast, this time towards Passau, which lies along the German-Austrian border. It wasn't long until we noticed the insane rate of lightning our bowing line was producing as it rushed towards our position. Soon enough we collectively decided that a gas station for shelter might be a good idea. The storm didn't look like it was playing games. And it didn't play games, but watch for yourself. Jetzt kommt's, man. With the electricity gone, near constant lightning and hurricane force winds obliterating the landscape, we once more stood there in awe and watched how the right ingredients can quickly escalate a storm from a bit of rain and thunder into a raging monster capable of major destruction. The path of destruction in the wake of our bow echo was now becoming visible as swaths of wind and hail slowly dissipated into the night. In the end it took us over two hours to finally make the few kilometers back to the highway, maneuvering around flattened trees and checking on some people that just had their roof ripped off from above their heads. Luckily everyone was fine. The 18th of August 2017 truly was a day of dreams coming true for a storm chaser in Germany, producing many highly photogenic storms, but it was also a day where beauty and destruction lie as close together as they can be in nature. 
Due to the right decisions, we managed to witness the beauty while mostly staying out of the destruction. But even then, the chaotic ending to this day served as a reminder to us that nature can be ferocious and, to some extent, unpredictable.